Now suppose that I don't have a pivot table to, to start with and I want to create directly a pivot chart. This is not a problem at all. I can go to the original data, select any cell inside the table that I called daily sales and I can go directly to insert and from the chart area or chart section, I can go directly to pivot chart. It will automatically detect your table and will ask you where you want to put your pivot table and pivot chart. I'm going to select existing worksheet and I can go directly to pivot chart directly sheet and will select something like A7 and click on OK. It will create two objects together, a pivot table and a pivot chart. Let me give a name to this pivot table and from the pivot table analyze while selecting any cell inside the pivot table area i can go to the left and give a name like commission and average price and enter i can also give a name to the pivot uh, chart i can select the object itself and from pivot table chart analyze i can come here to chart name and give it a name and i can start to build my report and my chart together so if i select the pivot table itself you can see here your pivot table fields and you can start to build your pivot table i will start with the categories in the axis it will put it here and also the pivot table start to take the shape exactly like the pivot chart let's take the segments on top of category like what we have earlier let me filter out the bikes as i did in the other pivot table and also let's take this time the commission value drop it in the value you can see here the pivot chart already drawn and you have the values here like a bar chart and you have also here your values also I want to add to this report the average price I will scroll down to average price drop it in the values as well I have to also do some formatting like what I did last time I want to use the same changes I did in the previous chart so I can go back to the previous chart and select it right click and save as template it will open a dialog box and will ask you what name you want to give to this template the default is chart one I'm going to give a name like PT08 the name of this video and save now I can go again to the new chart select it go to design tab and from design change a uh, chart type i can also do it from the right click change chart type this time i'm going to select templates and you have the new templates that you already saved here double click it will do all the changes like what you did last time however you can see here the bar for the prices is too small so in this case you you need to adjust the template that you already used this is very easy while selecting the chart you can go to change chart type and instead of selecting columns you can select combo and this time i'm going to use clustered column which is this blue columns and a line as you can see line like this and i'm going to use secondary axis so the relation between the line and the bar charts will be very good i'm going to select okay you can do some manual adjustments to the label so the overlapping you can just solve the overlapping manually like what i'm doing here just uh, select the label and move it little bit so the overlapping will not create a problem and also i have here the labels that i want to get rid of like what we did last time i'm going to select the axis right click format axis and again you can go to labels and none that was all for today hope that was useful for you and thank you very much for your time and see you in next video and bye